now we're at El Toro, which is the second largest group of South Sea producers, and they're based in Sydney, Australia. They'll be introduced to Penny Arrow, who works with El Toro, and also, very interesting, and probably the only person here like you, she is actually a pearl farmer and has been down to harvest. Is that right, Penny? Correct. So Correct. Penny knows a lot about pearls, hands-on. Yes. And Penny is wearing something quite spectacular, which only she can explain. Hmm. Well, this, yeah. is, uh, this is the Princess Scheherazade. That's the necklace, not me. Um, inspired, obviously, by the, uh, the Persian uh, culture. Mm -hmm. uh, extremely unique piece of jewellery based around an impossibly unique pearl. This is a 29 by almost 40 millimetre Jumbo Baroque South Sea Pearl. Jumbo? Jumbo. Is that official? Or Jumbo is just a term that just means just really big. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. And yeah. Just before we go ahead, Penny, can you mm. explain to us why a Baroque Pearl is different from a normal Pearl? Well, it's, it's essentially the shape mm. and it's usually um, also a much bigger pearl. So for some reason the, the oyster has been unable to grow in a uniform manner mm -hmm. and has layered the nacre, the pearly nacre, in such a way that a baroque shape has formed and lacks all of the symmetry that a round or a drop or a button shaped pearl would have. Right. So and are they more valuable than um, rounds? They or? can be, they yeah. are quite rare. We've become better at producing more symmetrical pearls, although they are still, the perfect round pearl is still the most valuable because it's so rare. But they are in high demand, um, as people understand that a natural form from a natural pearl, mm. created by a natural um, organism, is in fact quite a beautiful thing. So yeah. we're seeing greater demand for, for the Baroque pearl. The Princess Scheherazade is a um, magnificent necklet based around a chain with um, more Baroque pearls and it can be worn very long. The tassels, uh, which are beautiful... Uh, incredible colour, aren't they? Absolutely. These yeah. are um, a combination of drop and Baroque shape with a silver and pink tone to them. So this pretty. tassel, in fact, detaches, as does the pearl. And this, the beautiful sapphires here can be worn on their own. So you can have wh whichever part of it you so like, it's a short little or DIY long. Jewelry. Exactly. Very useful. And then if you're feeling um, in a different mood, you might like to turn the whole piece around, and there you have the diamond variety. So if you're in a blue mood or a white mood or, or depending, and obviously we've got incredible detail down the actual Amazing, face of the yeah. baroque and the ability for the sapphires to become diamonds. Well, that's quite something, isn't it? <laughs> so we're pretty proud of this piece. It is a, um, a very, very unique it's beautiful, yeah. design and mm. based around a very unique pearl. Thank you, Penny. That's okay. Thank, Thank you. you.